Hi, welcome to Well Done Life. I am so excited to be here with you today. I'm Daphne Smith, your host, and I'm coming to you from a remote location. Some of you may notice a different background for me, and I'm going to get to that in a few minutes when I give my shout outs. I'm going to do things a little differently today because why not? Uh, if we're not changing, we're not growing. And so I'm going to save my shout outs to the end because I've just got some very near and dear people to me that I want to be sure and recognize. So I'm going to dive right in to today's subject. And it's, it's something that my mama always taught me way back in the day. And it's who you hang with matters or maybe why does it matter who you hang with? It's another way to, to consider it. So I'm coming at you live today from Springboro, Ohio. I'm Daphne Smith, it's great to be here with you. We're gonna to talk today about living a well done life and how who you hang with matters or, or why does it matter who you hang with? So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna get focused. So I referenced my mom earlier and she had lots of expressions for me while I was growing up. And one of them was, if you lay down with dogs, you're gonna get fleas. Now I'm gonna be honest, growing up, I wasn't the sharpest tack on the bulletin board. So I didn't necessarily understand what that meant at the time, but she planted a seed. And that seed has matured over time. So the expression, if you lay down with dogs, you're gonna get fleas. I get it now. She meant be aware of who I hang around. So if your mom had an expression or you understand that expression, I'd love to hear from you. I wanna see you type fleas into the comments. And because I'm a word nerd, it's spelled F-L-E-A-S. Talking about those little annoying bugs, not F-L-E-E-S, which means you're leaving. Don't leave yet. Hang with me, okay? So uh, if your mom had an expression, or, or you know that expression, if you lay down with dogs, you're gonna get fleas. Type fleas into the comments for me. It's great to see a bunch of people hopping on. I'm excited to spend the next few minutes with you. And it really was divine timing, this message, and where I am and, and what's going on in life. So there's lots of different expressions or terms that we can give to people. We can call them givers and takers. We can have, call them adders and subtractors. We can call them people who fill us up or people who suck the life out of us. Whatever term we want to use, it makes a difference with who we hang with. And that difference plays out into our life. It's really almost like an osmosis, if I'm using the correct botany term. We're gonna absorb the attitudes and the opinions of those that we surround ourselves with. It just happens. It's a slow fade, generally, although on occasion, maybe you've met someone and you're like, oh, we just hit it off. We just clicked right away. We instantly had a connection. Well, I hope it was a good one because that person, the more time you spend around them, they're either going to add value to your life, they're gonna encourage you to expand and to grow, or they're gonna keep you stuck, stuck in that rut, or as some people refer to it, a comfort zone. I love it. Say no to fleas. You're right, Melody. That's awesome. Say no to fleas. Um, in fact, there's pest control, right? Who wants fleas? None of us want fleas. So maybe the topic for today could be, who are the fleas in your life? Who do we need to exterminate? All right. Those people who are irritating us, who are bugging us, who aren't encouraging us to grow. Those are the people that we need to love and let go. Now I know for me as a female, as a recovering codependent, as a Christian woman, it's been hard at times to let people leave my life. 
for me to give myself permission to grow and go beyond because I didn't want to come off judgy. Well, I don't have to judge anyone else. I just have to value myself enough to want to surround myself with people of excellence, with people who are going to pour into me because the more filled up I am, the more I can pour into others. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense because what's in my head and what comes out of my mouth, sometimes there's a disconnect. I hope you can appreciate and relate to that. But it matters who we hang with because it matters what we want out of life. Now, if you are content with where you are, whether it be in a good place or a bad place, right? If you're content, carry on. If you want something to change, if you are frustrated, if you are stuck, if you feel trapped, if you feel confused, are the people you're around right now adding to that? Or are they helping you get beyond that? Are they helping you grow through that? Are they challenging you in a good way to expand your talents, to expand your opportunities? It matters who you hang with because we've only got one life. We've only got one life on this planet that we are aware of. And because of that, while we're not designed to enjoy every single minute of every single day, it's not going to be happy, happy, joy, joy. Hard stuff happens. I know this. And when those hard times happen, we want to make sure also that we are surrounded with people who are going to love on us, who are going to encourage us, who are going to help us get through. Do you ever, have you ever known anybody who maybe they had a traumatic event happen in their life and they're just stuck in that spot? They replay it again and again and again. They don't grow through it. And again, I recognize hard things happen in life. Hurts happen. I'm not trying to dismiss that. I get it. I've got enough of my own. That's for sure. However, if I had stayed stuck there, I would have become bitter. I would have become resentful. I know that I know that I know. I could have found a group of friends or supporters who got me, who understood. And why did they get me and understand? Because they were also stuck. They were also wallowing, dare I say, in that place of hurt. Instead, I, like I hope and trust you will, have chosen to expand my boundaries, break through that comfort zone, reach up, reach out to people who are farther ahead. Those are the people I want to hang around with. And I believe those are the people you want to hang around with as well. So not only who in your day-to-day -day life, coworkers, friends, the people on Facebook that you interact with, who can you also fill your head with as far as their teachings, their ideas, their strategies? What are, you, what are you listening to on the radio? What are you watching on TV? What we pour in is what we're going to pour out. I cannot fill a pitcher up with water and expect to pour out wine. I can hope, but it's not realistic. Okay, if I fill a pitcher up with water, I'm going to pour water out. And the more kinds of water I put in there, if it's not purified water, it's going to get murky. It's going to get yucky. What we put in is what we're going to give out to the world. So as you go through your day, I want you to think about, is this person adding to me or is this a person subtracting? In fact, if you've got someone in your life who adds value to you, I'd love for you to give them a shout out. Tag this, tag them in this video. Let them know that you're, they're adding value to you, which in turn means you're adding value to them. Let me say that again because I got a little tongue tied. If there's somebody who's adding value to your life, maybe it's somebody you've never even personally met, but you listen 
to their um, audiobooks or you watch their YouTube videos. If there's an author, if there's a friend, if there's a business mentor who's adding value to your life, tag them. Let them know that they are adding to you. And in turn, you will be adding to them. And that's what we all need. We need to surround ourselves with people who add value to our lives, who encourage us, who give us the rigorous truth. Sometimes it's known as brutal honesty. But I will tell you, back in the day, it's been, oh gosh, a couple decades ago, because believe it or not, I have gotten wiser over the years, I promise. I honestly used to want to surround myself with yes people. People who would kind of rubber stamp whatever I would say, who were always in agreement with me. You know what? I didn't grow a bit. I became one heck of a good dictator and lord over, but I wasn't growing a bit. We need people in our lives to challenge us, to push us, to press us, to add value to us so we can add value to others. So I did things a little differently this week. I hope that helps you. I hope that encourages you to take a risk, to step out, to reach up, to find somebody or add another person to your circle who's going to add value to you. And I'm saving my shout outs to the end because as I mentioned early on, I'm coming to you from Springboro, Ohio. And those of you who um, know my friend, Lisa Mosier, you know I'm broadcasting from her office. This is so exciting. So she has graciously opened her home to me. You'll see over my shoulder, her book, Misconception, and you'll notice a new book right next to it. They're here. The pre-release copies of What's Your Scarlet Letter are available. And so I want to thank Lisa for her encouragement through this process. Actually, I want to give a shout out to the Igniting Souls Tribe. I got to attend a fellowship in, where was I earlier today? I was in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> and I got to see friends like Renee Vider, Carrie Oberbrenner, David Branderhorst, Jeannie, Deborah, Jeff, Rick, Dean, um, Joel, Erica. I mean, oh my gosh, the room was overflowing with rock stars who've encouraged me. They don't even all know what they've poured into me. So that's why I'm mentioning them. I'm giving them a shout out because I hope that this is adding value to them. Thank you all for all that you've given to me. And I am here as a cheerleader for you. I hope that I can add value to you, that I can encourage you to achieve your next level of success, just as you have done for me. Because those we surround ourselves with are those who help us rise so that we can lead others in the direction that they need to go. Just a couple minutes ago, I mentioned my book, which you see back here next to Lisa's. I'm getting kind of a kick out of it, seeing our books side by side, sister books. And I want to invite you, I would love to add some value to you and invite you to join my launch team. I have some free goodies that I would like to gift to you. And so what I'm going to do is, let's see if I can do this. Um, I want to put a link in here. Nope, that's it. Did, where do I? I don't know. Oh, I know. Ha! I'm using Lisa's keyboard on my computer. I just turned on her computer. Uh, so Lisa, you'll need to fix that for me later. But um, here's a link to join the launch team. And we together can spread this message of what's your scarlet letter and help people recognize their hurts, release their shame, and reclaim their voice. You know, before I mess up anything in her office, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to get away from Lisa's computer. <laughs> this is really funny on my end. If you saw what was on the other side of the screen, you'd be laughing as well. But again, I want to thank you for tuning in today. I want to remind you that every day you can live 
a well done life. Lisa, you've got some notifications. And also remember, it matters who you hang around with. Why? Because as they add value to you, you can add value to others. And I know you have value to add. I believe in you. Have a great day. Bye for now.